All right, in the same way that uh, multiple methods or parts of code shouldn't be repetitive, um, where like we did this thing with the say thing where it just like there's this private method now that just handles like saying whatever we want it to say um, so that we don't have to write system not out that print line this longer line of characters every time we want to put something out on the console because we know it's a task that we're going to handle multiple times. In the same way that you can do that with methods where you should like make sure to kind of try and scrub out duplicative code, you should do that with objects as well. So if you have, say, a group of objects or like similar but slightly different objects that all have the same kind of core set of abilities, you should not have to code those same abilities over and over and over for each class of objects that is only slightly different. And so there's this thing, you know, people saw that, they were like, ah, I wrote all this code already, why do I have to just type it all in again? Or like copy and paste it, even that's annoying. Because uh, I just want to add one method to this class to make it slightly different. So, uh, you know, people who develop these coding languages uh, developed a system <clears throat> that we call inheritance where you can say oh no no this object is for the most part like this other object but it has these little tweaks around the edges or additional abilities um, and so for this uh, video we're going to start to kind of work with that stuff so I'm going to create a person object which is often something that uh, people use to demonstrate this concept or an animal or something but I'm going to use person and of course I uh, kind of typed it in a janky way, so I'm going to change it, so right-click, refactor, person, um, and, you know, what is a person for our little simulation going to know about itself? Well, these are going to be the fields, the instance fields, and uh, we're just going to have a private string called name, so it can know its name, and a private int called age then we're gonna set up some uh, constructor and uh, you know this is just a public person object that's going to take in a string for the name and an int for the age and it's going to set the values of our fields to those things so name equals the name and age equals the age. All right, let's just give it some basic abilities. Now it can uh, send back, or let's have do the same thing we did before. So we're going to create a private method void called say. Nah, I don't want to do it this way. Um, so let's just do a public method. It doesn't return anything, doesn't send back any answers, but it just does something. Um, uh, what's, what, say your name, say name, we can just use the same ones as we did before, that's fine. Um, so in this case, it'll say, uh, system dot out dot print line, um, hi, my name is plus name, and then, how about we just send back the age public int age get age and then this method will just return the age um, and that's all for <coughs> excuse me good grief I didn't need this in there so public int get age a getter method uh, for age. And I think that's all we're going to do in this video. We're just going to create this class quickly, do something like this. You can do animals, person, whatever, just code along with me. 